Hey, it's Chris here from Other Side of the Tracks. We're here for the trade show of the TCA Central Texas chapter. Let's go ahead and check it out.
Your uh, stash is ready.
folks, we're back for the train show. That was the 48th annual train show of the Central Texas chapter of the Lone Star Division of the TCA. And they moved it from Garden Ridge to within the city limits of San Antonio on the north side of town at 604 and 281. This new venue they have here is awesome. It's at the Park Hills Baptist Church, a beautiful facility. And behind me is the haul I brought from the show. So we'll just take a quick gander at uh, what I brought home. Well, as you can tell, we have a nice big box here, which is, of course, another Menards building for the collection. This is the Wally's Service Station, which they came out with a few years ago and is no longer available. So uh, this seller was his uh, first time at the show, I believe, came down from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area and uh, spoke to him for a little bit. Real cool guy. Uh, he was downsizing his collection from O Gage to HO because he just didn't have the room. I don't know how that could ever happen. <laughs> and uh, also picked up this 7-Eleven K-Line kit from him as well. So I bought both of these from him. He offered me a good deal on it. And uh, the Wally Station and the K-Line 7-Eleven, both brand new. He had only opened the shipper box on the Menards building here just to take it out to look at it. But it had never been out of the, uh, the original packaging uh, with all the staples intact. So when I came home, I uh, went and plugged in just to make sure it worked. So we'll take a closer look at this building in another video, and perhaps we'll look at this building in another video some other day. But this is a little kit that snaps together. Uh, all the plastic bags are sealed, so <laughs> all the parts should be there. But I'd never seen this before. thought it was pretty cool. I'm like, oh, 7-Eleven. <laughs> and lastly, but certainly not least, I grabbed a whole bunch of catalogs, primarily MTH from uh, various years. I like having especially more recent catalogs I think they're uh, not only interesting to look at and look at all the neat things that have been put out over the years, but serve as a nice reference guide if oh, you're looking at something that came out in the past and see what the old catalog said. And, well, I'm old school. I like having that piece of paper in my hands and be able to read the catalog as they were published originally. And it's just uh, a tradition in trains going back, of course, many decades. I still have my dad's. Uh, early 1950s catalogs from Lionel. But yeah, I like having these catalogs to check out and review. So, added a few more there for the reference library of Other Side of the Tracks. Anywho, I think that'll do it for now. Just a quick video showing the highlights of the show. Uh, turnout was great. I did a lot of filming, of course, before the show was open to the general public. When it wasn't crowded so i can uh, kind of get uh, a quick glimpse of some of the tables and just show the overall layout uh, just for your reference uh, but boy as soon as those doors opened to the public it filled up very quickly so i was very glad to see that and the club's new uh, little mini layout uh, was a big hit with the kitties and uh, props to the tin plate trackers out of the austin area for coming down and setting up their awesome layout as well Okay, well, if you made it this far, don't forget, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already one of my highly coveted subscribers, and we will see you next time here on Other Side of the Tracks. Take care.